In this video, we'll see how to insert the steps without recording. This is the second method we can add steps into your UFT without recording. So let us see that. Now, I've created a separate test named as step generator 2. And let me see what is the objects in the repository. They are totally empty. There is no objects in this repository. So what you have to do is very first thing, you have to add objects to your repository. And for that, I've just opened the sample application. That is my flight sample application. I'll add objects to this place. So I'll just click on this plus sign, click on this object and I'll click on this OK. I want all the objects to be collected. So I'll just click on OK. OK. So these are all the objects added to my repository. Now my work is easy to generate steps without recording. So I'll just click on close. OK, that is part is done. So if I want to generate, I'll just go to this design menu bar and you see there's an option given as step generator. OK, or the option. There's one more thing given as shortcut as F7. If you want to generate steps, F7 is the method. Click on step generator. Now you'll get this dialog box which says what category do you want to add? There are multiple categories. There is test objects, there is utility, utility objects, functions and so on. Right now I only want test objects. Which object do you want? So if I click on this drop down, I'll get only one object HP my flight sample application which is which I don't want to add. I want agent name, password and cancel button. So if you don't get in this drop down, you have to click on this button. It says get object from repository. You see here, if I click on this place, it says select object. If I click on this object, I'll get list of all the objects and the same method. I'll select here first as agent name and click on OK. After that, if you see the operation automatically came as set. If it was a button, the operation would have been as click automatically. It comes here. Now, if you see there's a name given as text type is given as strings, what is the value you want? And if you see the step which, which will be generated would be WPF window, my flight and so on the data. So if you want to add set text, which is given here, you just have to click here and then you can type the text. So I'll type the text as my name Pavan Lalwani. But this is not reflected here. If you see that is not reflected. So what you do is once you click outside, see the step which will be changed automatically. WPF window my flight WPF edit if I click here you see what has happened so it give me the step which is generating it is going to generate here now what I'll do is after if, if I click on OK this window will close automatically but what I want to do is I want to insert another step here that is for password so I'll just click on this insert another step and after that the moment I click on insert see the script which will be generated here I'll click on insert so you see here WPF HP my flight sample application edit agent name and set my name is given here Pavan Lalwani. Let us see the next step which I want the password and cancel button. Same process. So from here I'll click on this drop down. Now I'll get all the values all the objects in this place. I'll select password. I'll click on this place. I'll type the password as HP or anything. I'll click here. So this step will be inserted. Click on insert. Now the third step is I want to click on the cancel button. Select cancel. Okay and nothing is required no changes required for this cancel button the only thing is you have to remove this checkbox because i don't want to add any other step and finally you can click on ok so if you observe here i have got these three steps which are generated in the editor part if you go to the keyword view same will be generated you can go to this view menu bar and you can click on this keyword view so you see these are the three uh, steps which are generated here the same thing which are given here so now now the time comes to execute it. So if you want to execute the simple method is you can just click on this run part and click on run. So let us see it works. Yeah, it's working fine the name and the password and then it has click cancel. So if I go down and see, yeah, there is no flight reservation application it is it has been gone away. So I hope you're able to understand how to insert a steps without recording. That was the second method for inserting it. I hope you understood and that's all for this video.